So welcome ladies and gentlemen, so today we take a look at PES 2020, we're going to break down the trailer in all of its glory, like we did with the FIFA one, and I'll give you guys my thoughts and everything in between. So I hope you guys do enjoy it, of course leave your comments below if you're impressed by it or not, but let's dive into the first trailer for E3, for eFootball PES 2020. Okay, so what I'm going to be doing is just rolling straight through it. So the first thing we'll do is I'll let this go. Okay, I'm just going to let this play. You guys have obviously seen this already. Uh, and then very much like the FIFA trailer, I'll break it down and give you my thoughts or what I see exactly. So they showed a lot of snippets of this, that, and the other. One thing I do like about Konami when it comes to trailers is the gameplay is actually in there. It's You can see that this is pretty much gameplay, but it's taken from a different standpoint. There's not really any CGI involved. Uh, all the mechanics are in the match itself. It's just taken from a different angle. I'm sure this was created by Whedon's, who obviously does fantastic work uh, with the trailers. But there are a lot of different snippets. You know, they obviously spoke to Iniesta. They've got a lot of coverage from him. Lionel Messi is the big thing as well. Coming back to pairs on the front cover. Uh, context sensitive there passing. So that'll be interesting to see how it works. So right here, you do actually see some official gameplay. Uh, some movement. A couple of issues I have though. And we'll talk about that in a minute. Uh, they obviously work it down the flanks as well. I have to say the turf does look a lot better than the... Uh, than the turf we saw last year's was good but it, it could have been a lot lot better than it has been it looks like this year they've actually gone for a more natural turf look now, obviously depending on what time of day you play if it's in the afternoon night time it's going to look different the big thing of course was master league remastered as they're calling it uh, and this is going to be rather interesting i'm a master league player as you guys know and having something like this this interactive dialogue system more realistic transfers and we've heard that before though uh, about the more realistic transfers it never seems to do much physics as well another important thing uh, the movement of the ball is something that on pairs sometimes they get it right sometimes it looks a little bit weird uh, you can see the different animations they've got there Vidal pulling his man down from behind new skills and abilities the right stick as well is going to be something very important this year that we've never seen before in a Pez game. Uh, play like Ronaldinho, a couple of nice little animations, especially the goal he scores in, in a brief second, uh, where he does that little fake and then he sort of bends it into the far corner. It was a, this goal right here was scored in real life. Beautifully done. The technique was exquisite as that just nestled nicely. And the old celebration by the Brazilian as well. Iniesta, there's the old school. I don't know if I like, I don't know how he looks. You know, I know he used to have a lot more hair. So obviously they've gone for a younger version of him. Some people say he still looks a little bit odd. Uh, but, you know, that's just a, a minor, a minor thing. So a little bit of movement here. You see you've got players pulling other players away. Uh, Lionel Messi just... This looks really good from this angle. That looks realistic as hell. It really does. Uh, smashing that, rifling it into the top corner and then the name i mean i don't know about the name eFootball pez 2020 all that's basically saying is this game's called eFootball pro evolution soccer you've got football and soccer in the same sentence i don't know why they went for that obviously they're going for esports it's become a lot more popular but i think that's going to be one of those that some people care about some people don't and they've got this new game mode called match day which i'm sure they're going to dive into a little bit more later on uh, nearer release so that was pretty much the trailer quite good kind of what i was expecting they didn't show any my club though so i'm, I'm sure that's going to come later uh, but overall solid i would say now let's dissect it a little bit more uh, and dive into the fun stuff Okay, so at the beginning, you know, we saw Barcelona here. We saw the stadium. It looks fantastic. Obviously, they've got the new camp. There's a look at the atmosphere, the floodlights, everything. Parker, isn't it? I mean, it really is quite substantial. I don't think anyone has real any problems with the graphics on Pez. They've, they've definitely stepped that up a notch, Konami, and improved it a hell of a lot more than it used to be the player models you know there's there's still talk about the kits themselves they look a bit loose a little bit baggy uh, adam did say in a live stream that they're still working on them okay so if you if you have any tips or anything else about how you want the kits to look i think they need to be a little bit more fitting especially nowadays players wear kits that are very tight 
Um, it's just the way things have gone. They like to have that form-fitting type of uh, cloth on them. So I think these may be a little bit baggy, a little bit loose, but hopefully they'll rectify, the, uh, rectify those uh, come release. Uh, so they've got the new first touch, haven't they? That was something that they were talking about. And uh, this is pretty much I mean, what they state is trapping a football is something of an art. So the development team have gone to great lengths to realize this concept in PES 2020 with huge improvements coming to the way that trapping works in the game. Players will now exhibit enhanced intelligence when interacting with an approaching ball, choosing a variety of uh, trapping techniques that not only represent their personal style, but also one that suits each match sim uh, situation. They've got a handful of new... Uh, trapping skills as well then they've got this new finesse dribbling now they spoke a little bit about this and it's not just a simple case of a contextual thing that you don't have to worry about doing from what i heard adam said in the stream you'll use the right stick now uh, to, to create this finesse type dribbling which is an advanced technique that will allow users that are adept at anticipating the movements of their opponents to snake between defenders with exceptional agility um, and then it, obviously they spoke to Iniesta, one of the best in the business, when he used to play a lot more, of course. Uh, so if we just run it, you'll see the feet, the quickness that he has. He talks about being in a crowded area, picking up the ball. I mean, here it is. You'll see here, I mean, it's still a little bit robotic, but I think that's sort of the case of the engine now. The engine, very much like FIFA, has got to a point where you're not going to see any real different animations with dribbling they kind of dribble the same. If I was to slow this down uh, and actually have a look at it, I like that right there. I do like that. Uh, let's just rewind this a little bit further. So, you know, he picks it up here. There's a little bit of a stutter. That was a you know, little flick away from the player. Comes inside, but right there, that lovely little animation of literally just shoving the player out the way. Could it be a foul? Possibly, because he kind of just uses his arms to say sod off. Uh, and then it sort of bounces into the far corner. The nets are pretty much the same as uh, we saw before. But yeah, so that's that one. We have a look at this one right here. So he cuts back. Nice little fake there. And then he just whips this into the far corner uh, for the header into the back of the net. And he's like, yeah, fair enough. Worked out quite nicely. You know, a, a good animation. Watch the... Uh, the technique of Iniesta, nicely done. One thing though, you know, I, I still feel that Pez has over FIFA is the fact that the ball seems to actually touch their feet when they're dribbling. Okay, I still see a little bit of clipping going on here. I still see players' boots kind of going through the grass, but I think yeah, at this point, is it just the engine? I don't know, but it's going to obviously hopefully have to be better than last year, which was a bit of a nightmare. Uh, so when he fizzed that in, lovely ball, back post, gets up, nods it into the back of the net. Worked out quite nicely for him. So let's continue here. So we've got context sensitive kick accuracy. Now what they're saying here is the accuracy of each shot and pass you unleash will change relative to your posture, your position on the pitch and how much pressure you're under, making for a deeper and more authentic football experience. Now more than ever, you will be rewarded for timing, patience, and match awareness. Now, how this will pan out online and that, I don't know. Will the AI have the same? That's the thing. If you if you play against the AI and this doesn't really come into account, then you're going to feel cheated. So, you know, you've got to see the AI making the mistakes as well. If when they pass a ball... Um, you know, and then they're not set right, the foot isn't correctly balanced, then they've got to make the mistakes. If they don't, then we're going to feel cheated out of it. Time will tell. We still need to see the AI play. Um, we'll wait and see what happens with that front. Now, when it comes to this, you know, I, I don't know who's playing here. I'm hoping that this is on beginner, if I'm being honest with you, okay? I would expect them to put it on a relatively easy difficulty level to show different aspects especially goals that they've scored in real life if you put it on superstar legend you're not going to get the time to do it right so i'd hope they're playing on beginner because here you can see it's crowded out by three players he lays it inside um i mean look at this is a huge gap and this is a problem and now this could be tactically it's set up wrong as i say it could be on easy but to have this much space between the midfielders and uh, the defenders 
Now, they could be playing deep defensive line. Who knows? But that's just a lot of space there. It needs to be a little bit more congested. I mean, no one would defend like this because that's just not really um, normal at all. Now, they work it down the right-hand side here. They're just sort of showing different things. A good ball in by Rakitic. I'm liking some of the animations. Uh, you saw there Messi. If we slow it down a wee touch. So first of all, yeah, I'm liking, you know, you watch Rakitic here with the technique as he bends this in. It looks ace. Nicely done. The player tries to get his foot up. It's a good leap. And then there's a little bit of jostling here. And they actually hit each other. Now, he doesn't go down. Fair enough. Because I think that last year, Pez 2020, uh, 2019, he would have fallen flat on his ass uh, along with Messi. But he doesn't. Doesn't even bother. He doesn't flinch him at all. And this is actually a par or a cross fake pass. Okay, so you can see here. Comes in. Looks like he's going to shoot it. No, he lays it out wide. So that's something new that they've added. I don't know exactly what the buttons will be like. But that is a fresh, uh, a fresh lick of paint there that we didn't see before. Once again, we've we've almost got like a, uh, you know, a, a no look pass type thing here. Looks like he's going to shape up to hit it. No, I'm just going to slot it through to Messi, and um, it's a great ball. Lays it through the middle, probably on beginner, as I said before. Hopefully it is, and then he flicks it over the goalie. But you know, at least it all looks like the balls. You know, watch the ball. On FIFA, it doesn't look natural. But right here, this looks like Messi actually, watch the ball, he actually does hit it with his foot and it nestles into the corner and it's in the back of the net. Now, let's move into the fun stuff, shall we? Of Master League. So we've seen this Master League remastered and this is where I think a lot of people will be excited to test out the new mode and um, see exactly what happens here because this is something that they needed they needed it you know master league's being very poor very redundant the same old recycled stuff and it hasn't been fun to play so what we're diving into now is uh, we've got the cutscene. so this guy obviously loves his coffee we've seen that time and time again throughout the course of this uh, uh this trailer so obviously you've got Cruyff there i'm not sure who the rest of the other players are or the people are you can actually choose three Legends, so you've got Zico, Cruyff, and Maradona. Uh, they will be able, you'll be able to play through those in Master League using those managers. What does that entail? Is it going to be any different? Probably not. It's just going to be their faces are officially in the game. So there he is once again, still got his coffee, having a chat with a boss or uh, the owner, whoever that is. And there is uh, Maradona. Looks ridiculous, by the way. They clearly have face scanned these to perfection because that is pretty damn good. Uh, so you've got the legend managers. Now, the interactive dialogue system. Okay, they didn't really show a proper example. Uh, but it does say this powerful interactive dialogue system puts the reins firmly in your hands when it comes to controlling story progression. Choose responses that suit your personality to drive mode progression and create your own personal league story. So what does that mean? Does it mean if you don't, say the right thing that a player will get pissed off and then he wants to leave and uh, go somewhere else and if you reward someone they play better form is increased i have no clue uh, but this is something that we're gonna have to wait and see because it doesn't really show you exactly uh, what it does now improved ball physics is quite an important thing i feel as well because yeah the physics on pairs they've been up and down i still think the bending physics are a little bit off uh, and they could be better. So if we have a look here, you can see the, just the way the ball spins, especially that nice little animation there, or the physics of the ball. If we actually rewind this as well. So yeah, if you slow it down, you can see the way the ball sort of spins. So there's a little touch. You can see the ball does touch his foot. Nice little spin animation. The ball stops dead. Hits a nice volley. Comes off the defender. Now this is something that defending they're showing now this i don't think this is going to be anything you do new to ways to defend this is just you hit square or you try and block something and they're going to get in the way of it and there's going to be different animations it's not something you really have any control of i wouldn't expect you to have any control of it because it would be quite difficult um actually that was looking at that there i saw something 
see me right there. You can still see there's a there's a little bit of clipping. It's you know it's still there. I mean we're gonna see it, I guess. As long as it doesn't look ridiculously bad, like because last year honestly 19 was the worst clipping I've seen. It really was. Uh, and, and fine if it's in the game, it's in the game because FIFA has it, Pez has it. But make it you know to a minimum, please, that it doesn't ruin the game itself. Here you've got you know Vidal pulling him back. That's a nice animation. It looks kind of cool. We made a meal of it, and it's what players do <laughs> nowadays. Uh, so we've got new skills and abilities. I've just yeah, I've slowed this down for you guys now, so you can take a look at it a little bit more detail. You can see players getting jostling together outside of the boot with Luis Suarez. It just it does look natural. I will say that much. They've done a way better job of making it look more natural than we've seen before because Pez is a more robotic game mode. Yes. Or not game mode more robotic at times so the fact that they've got in there and they've tried to rectify those problems thank you because it, it did need you know something extra there's the old flip flat with ronaldinho uh, a couple of old fakes by him so you can really play his style of play i mean he's, he was a joy to watch ronaldinho as we know the brazilian a master uh, how are you going to pull these off i don't know probably with the right stick um we still have to learn I mean, that looks a little bit weird, the way the ball kind of balanced on him, but... If you're going to pull these off, you've got a little bit of FIFA Street in PES 2020, it looks like. Uh, so he's just talking here. This was the goal that I love. The little fake. I like that. A little animation there. Have a look at the old defender. He just... Right here. He thought he was going to shoot. Stuck out a leg. Then he didn't. Still going. Doesn't know what he's going to do. And then, bang. Just sort of toes it, as we saw him do, right into the corner. And... Uh, yeah, I don't know about the goalie, though. Uh, you know, the goalie should just be standing there, not not running towards the ball like an idiot. You know, just stand there. You've been beaten, and you've been surprised. So just stand there, keeper. You don't need to run across. Um, that would be nice to add a whole bunch more, you know, goalkeeping animations uh, from time to time. So there's Cruyff getting excited. Ronaldinho, there he is in his uh, newer appearance. So I believe if you pre-order the Legend, you'll get a 2019 version of him. Uh, and you'll also get him to dance when you score an absolute peach. So, lovely jubbly. Now, right here, I'm not quite sure exactly what they're showing. I think they're showing players making runs. It's a nice little turn from Iniesta. Then skips past his man. Uh, you know, defending, if you watch number three, it's still kind of bit of bit of bit of floatiness. You know, I criticize FIFA for it. And I have to do the same for Pez. Because if you watch here, he kind of glides, doesn't he? Yeah, the old right foot does the old gliding animation. Just watch it here. Yeah, he kind of glides a little bit. So, you know, they, they both have it. FIFA's got it. Pez has got it. It's just I think the engine at this point has become the way it is. Uh, there's not a whole lot you can do about it until we see maybe the Unreal Engine next year, hopefully, if it comes out. Uh, so there's a bit more discussion, conversation. Nice to have Messi back, though. I think everyone will be quite pleased with that. Now, right here, I think literally just pulling away Luis Suarez. Now, one thing I do like, because last year, or PES 2019, what would have happened is if you watch Luis Suarez's run, if you were playing against the AI, they would literally stay with him, okay? They'd stay with Suarez, and a huge hole would open up. So they outline Suarez. He makes the run goes past this guy now this guy he's watching him but he hasn't gone up his backside okay so he's seen he's seen suarez you'll have a look at it see him look he's looking at him looking at him and then he decides okay he's not a threat we'll leave him and we'll just try and come across uh, and make sure messi can't come through anymore and then you've got the run here on the left hand side he's watching him as you can see but he's not leaving messi because he knows messi has the ball he's the danger man and uh, if he can't make the challenge, it's too good. Maybe number three could have done a better job because he's kind of, in the end, just not looking at anyone. It's better, though, uh, from what we saw last year. This is a fantastic goal. I mean, it was rocketed into the top corner. This almost looked lifelike the way he struck this. That was Messi-esque, and the goalie had absolutely no chance. Uh, and then a bit of a, a bit of a pile-up celebration, as you see. And then they just sort of finished it off with the old kissing 
of the hand and they announced new partner clubs will be announced in july so make sure you obviously stay tuned for that we'll have all the news as well so they've got this new thing coming up finally to just really discuss 1v1 online 1v1 online um the new game mode called match day which might very well be like fifa's what do they say about this they say uh, it distills the essence of football culture. Let's just slow this down and play it so you guys can watch it. Uh, into a competitive format that lifts you out of the spectator stands and puts you in on the pitch. Align yourself with one or two different sides at the start of each event, wherein every perfectly placed pass and show-stopping goal, you unleash contribution points towards your side's victory. Stand alongside Pez newcomers and seasoned veterans alike as you work together to gradually build an advantage for your side ahead of the grand final. So you basically get points. You play, it's like co-op. You play against someone, you get points for what you do, and then you try and get to the grand final. How exactly will it work? We don't know, apart from Konami. So we'll have to wait and see how exactly it works when the full game's released. So that's pretty much it. It was a good trailer, I have to say that. I was impressed with certain elements, and uh, but there's still you know a couple of issues with... Uh, you know, the, the defensive line that we saw, um, you know, especially back here when they had the ball and they were switching it and, you know, there's just a huge gaping hole here. I mean, massive. Why is everyone congregated here? It very well may, may could be because they're playing on beginner and I would hope so. All the tactics are set up wrong and they're playing deep defensive line. One thing Konami do need to sort out though, out the box, you know, please make these teams play the way they should play. There isn't a ton of teams in pairs. It shouldn't take them that long to go in each side and, and adjust them. You know, Arsenal play close football. Make them play that way. You know, someone like Stoke play long balls. Then make them play that way. Uh, because otherwise, you play the same teams and you see the same problems over and over again. So, overall, impressed. Yes. Gameplay, I have got a video coming out. Be sure to check that out very shortly. And we'll be really analysing the gameplay then. Uh, but overall, I think it is a better trader than FIFA's. I really do. And that's not just me being biased because I prefer Pez's gameplay. I just think they did a better job of actually showing what they want to show. Um, obviously, FIFA has a big fan base anyway. They don't care too much about it. They're still going to get the people buying it. Uh, but there's different elements here. I think Pez is a game you have to play to really see the difference. Don't always judge it just by one or two videos. Uh, but anyway, leave your thoughts below. We'll be back very, very shortly with some gameplay. We'll check it all out. And uh, yeah, I hope you guys did enjoy it. Subscribe for more because I'll be covering PES 2020 as much as I can. And the Real Madrid series will continue as well. But we all get excited get seeing the new goodness. Until next time, guys, take care.